because I do have some other things I want to go over with you guys. All right. In this example, again, we need to make sure we're determining if we're multiplying on the inside or the outside. Inside is basically inside parentheses, under a radical, raised, to, raised in the exponent, under the denominator. If you're just multiplying, if you're just multiplying that value, you don't need that out here. You can take a look. If you just multiply that value by the function, then it's outside. Here's an example of multiplying by a function outside. Because do you guys see? Like, here's another way to think about it. If you're only multiplying it by the outside, the pure function is unchanged, right? Your parent function is unchanged. So, look at it. That's just ln of x. That's not a change. I'm multiplying by the outside. When I multiply by the outside, I know it's vertical. If the absolute value of that number is greater than 1, it's a stretch. So I just say vertical stretch. To make this go by a little bit quicker, I'm going to use v to uh, abbreviate for vertical. Okay? Over here, you can see that x squared is unchanged. So therefore, I'm multiplying by the outside. But the absolute value of c is 1 half, which is less than 1. So it's going to be a vertical compression. Over here. You guys can see cosine of x it has changed. It's not the same anymore because now I'm multiplying inside of the function. That means it's horizontal. Since the value of c, with the number I'm multiplying by, is greater than uh, 1, it's a horizontal compression. Here again, my parent function, e to the x, has changed. So I'm multiplying by a number inside of my function. So again, which is greater than 1. So it's, again, it's another example of horizontal compression. Over here, again, my parent function has changed. I don't have the pure parent function. So therefore, again, I'm multiplying on the inside. But this time, my h is less than 1. So therefore, it's a horizontal stretch. Over here, my parent function is unchanged. I'm just multiplying by a number on the outside. And that number is greater than 1, so it's a vertical stretch. Um, over here, my parent function has changed. It's not the nice, beautiful absolute value of x. It's absolute value of 5x, so it got changed. That tells me I'm multiplying on the inside, so that's a horizontal compression. And then last but not least, my log of x is, is the pure. So I'm just multiplying by 1 half, so that's a vertical uh, compression based on my rules. Anybody have any questions? Check in. Again, guys, we're doing a lot of these examples. They should be relatively quickly. But if they're not easy for you,